Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This time we will be talking about lookup tables. So in this project we have a reel with various ProRes clips from the Arri Alexa. So those ProRes clips are in log C. To bring them in Rec 709 color space, for example, we need to load a lookup table. So there's a couple of places where you can do that. Let us go into the matrix and to the config menu. Here we can load a lookup table as a source mapping. Let's do so. Here's the lookup table. Scratch can load various 3D and 1D lookup table types. Open it. And here we go. As you can see, now we have a video gamma encoded image. And according to the lookup table, this transforms the log C video to Rec 709 color space. So let's flag this shot accordingly as Rec 709. And there we go. However, there's a different location to load a lookup table in. Let me quickly reset this and go to the lot menu here and load the lookup table inside this menu. Again, all kinds of lookup tables are possible here. And we kind of have the same effect. So where's the difference between loading the lookup table here and in the config menu? The difference is just where the lookup table gets inserted in the color pipeline. If you insert it in the config menu, the lookup table actually gets inserted before the primaries. And if you load it into the lookup table menu, it gets inserted after the primaries. Let me show you a different place to load those lookup tables. If we need to load them for multiple clips at once, we can do that in the media browser. Let me select all the clips in this reel, go to the media browser, great tab, and inside here we have a function to batch import or batch export various types of lookup tables. In this case, I want to load a single LUT onto multiple shots. Also, I can choose if I want to load the lookup table as a source LUT or as a grading LUT. So let's quickly load the LUT again. Here we go. Close the media browser. And as you can see already, now all our clips are in a video gamma encoded color space. If we scrub through the timeline, we can see those clips have a different gamma than before. quickly delete that lot again right here however we can also load a lookup table as a viewing lot to do so go into the player right click go to settings and to the monitor menu here as well we can load a lot for the interface monitor and for the preview monitor separately if we would have attached one so let me quickly load the lookup table into this field. And as you can see, right now we're looking at the video gamma encoded image, but our scopes here tell us that the image actually is still logarithmic. Let me disable the LUT for a moment. And as you can see, deactivating and activating the lookup table does not change our waveforms because this lookup table gets inserted just before Scratch sends the image off to the display. So every color transform that we're applying to the image will be done before this lookup table. You can of course also use this function to insert a calibration lookup table or whatever you like. Let me quickly reset this. Lastly, we can insert a lookup table onto an output node. So let's go to outputs. Here's our main output node, which I can enter the player with. Go to matrix. And if I now load a lookup table, let's say in the grading lot section, I have now applied this lookup table onto the complete timeline. However, it's downstream from each individual clip. So if I go back to the construct and enter the player with an individual clip, 
I do not see the lookup table because it's applied downstream on the output node. So to see what my renders will look like, I can hit the uh, view output button here and have a look at my output. And as you can see, the waveforms accordingly show what I'm seeing here. Lastly, let's have a look at exporting lookup tables from scratch. Therefore, let's quickly create a look on this shot. Let's add a little bit more contrast, bring down the gamma a little bit, and maybe make it a little bit warmer. Something like this, maybe. That looks good. Alright, then just make sure you're not on the shot menu, but on any other color menu and hit the save button. Now Scratch allows you to save various different file types. First one is the CCR, which basically is a Scratch proprietary color setting. You can also choose to save a CDL if you use the CDL toolset to create the look. And also various types of 1D LUTs and 3D LUTs. So let's do this. Let's save a 3D LUT here. Let's call this look, save it to the desktop, Okay. to confirm let me create a version of this shot, reset it and now load the just save lookup table back into scratch. Here's our look 3DL and switching back and forth between the two clips I can see a difference, seems to have worked well. Also if we want to export a lookup table from all of our shots in our timeline. We can do so by just selecting all those shots, go to the media browser and use the batch export option to export multiple 3D or 1D LUTs or CDLs or scratch color settings at once. So in this case we could create a file name out of let's say the source file name with an underscore and let's say the constructs name. Then hit save, choose the folder to save to and Scratch will batch export all the gradings on the clips as separate lookup tables. Okay, this concludes the tutorial about lookup tables in Scratch. Hope it was useful to you and see you next time.